Hello from beautiful Edinburgh. My name is Jenny. Welcome to The Bear and the Fox. I'm back today with another great roundup of picture books and today's theme is museums. So let's get started. Believe it or not, we have over 500 picture books in our house and around 10% of them are all about museums. So, in honour of International Museums Day, I thought I would do something a little bit different today. Instead of reviewing five books in depth like I usually do, I'm going to give you a whistle-stop tour of our 50 favourite museum-themed books. Yes, that's right, 50. I'm going to start with one of the very first museum books I ever got for my boys. Maisie Goes to the Museum is all about how much fun it is to visit museums. And in a similar way, Miffy at the Gallery is all about how much fun it is to visit art galleries. And both of those books are really great for the very little ones. Art is one of the most popular topics in museum themed picture books, so the next few books are all about art museums. We have Squeaking of Art. Then a beautifully illustrated book, The Museum, all about the different emotions experienced by the power of art. Lulu and the Flying Babies features two angels that come alive from a painting. In The Shape Game, a little boy's life is changed forever by a visit to an art museum. And then we have Visiting the Art Museum and Meet Me at the Art Museum are all about how to visit an art museum and a subgenre of art museum books are books about art museum heists and we have Art Dog and William and the Missing Masterpiece which are both really funny. Another really popular theme of museum picture books is dinosaurs so the next couple of books are all about natural history museums. Time Flies is a beautifully illustrated wordless picture book then we have Gaspar and Lisa at the museum. The ever popular Curious George and his dinosaur discovery. We have Harry and the dinosaurs at the museum. And finally, Bailey at the museum. And then I've got a couple of miscellaneous ones. This is another wordless book called Museum Trip. And we have Lost in the Toy Museum. Moving on to the next theme, we have some books all about making your own museum, featuring our most favourite museum book of all by the lovely Linda Sarah, Me and Museum City. Then we have Cobus Museum, a Norwegian book. Homer Henry Hudson's Curio Museum. Matthew's Dream, about a little mouse who exhibits his paintings in an art museum. Norman the Doorman, another artistic little mouse. Macabre, an artistic squirrel who makes his own art museum. Arnold's Extraordinary Art Museum. Babar's Museum of Art, I adore this book. It features famous paintings but recreated with Babar and his elephant friends. And finally, The Museum of Me. My final selection of books are all set in real life museums and these books are great if you're planning a trip to any of these places. We'll start in New York and the award for museum most featured in children's books goes to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, starting with a wordless picture book, You Can't Take a Balloon into the Metropolitan Museum. Then we have How the Sphinx Got to the Museum, Museum ABC, an alphabet book, and this is actually a chapter book for older children from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankenweiler and this is a really great read. Still in New York we have Speeding Down the Spiral set at the Guggenheim and featuring a runaway stroller scene which my children wanted to recreate when we visited um, New York. We've got I Like the Guggenheim and another chapter book for older children the Guggenheim Mystery. Also in New York, we have How to Take Your Grandmother to the Museum, set at the American Museum of Natural History. And at the same museum, we've got The Night at the Museum, the book which inspired the famous movie. 
Next we have How the Dinosaur Got to the Museum featuring the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Washington DC. Next we've got a lovely picture book for slightly older children, Rocks in His Head, which is the true story of how a little boy became the director of the Springfield Science Museum. And the last one from America, Jack in Search of Art, featuring um, copies of artwork from the Delaware Art Museum. Leaving the US and moving across to Europe, we've got another alphabet book, S as in Sky, from the Museum of Fine Arts in Budapest. We have a book set at the Louvre, Who Stole the Mona Lisa, based on a true story from 1911. We have two books set in France featuring Monet's garden. We have Linnea in Monet's garden and The Green Fingers of Monsieur Monet. And then in London we have The Queen and Mr Brown, A Night at the Natural History Museum. We've got Ottoline at the Natural History Museum and Ottoline at the British Museum. Katie's Picture Show features artworks from the Tate Gallery and the National Gallery in London and James Mayhew actually has a whole series of Katie books featuring different artworks. Also featuring artwork from the National Gallery in London is Dog's Night. Then another chapter book for older children, Mrs Soane's dog Fanny is set at the Sir John Soane's Museum. And last but not least, we've got two books from my most favourite museum in the world, the National Museum of Scotland. We've got Max and Zap at the National Museum of Scotland and What Maisie Did Next. And that's all we have time for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will pop a link to my blog in the notes below and on my blog you will be able to find a list with all the book titles and authors. I hope you enjoyed the little whistle stop tour of all our favourite children's museum books and I will see you next time. Bye!